Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see one more, man, please? Give it one more, man. Pack our bags and get in that car. Baby, she has to be waiting in the queue. Bye. Bye bye bye. Let's get out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel to another video in the series of my holidays in 2022. We went to Malaysia and India. The last couple of videos you would have seen our flight and our trip in Malaysia as well. This video is going to be um, the first couple of days in India, specifically um, in Chennai. We took Asia from Penang to Chennai. We had transited in KLIA 2. And I did a little bit of chopping in KLIA 2. And this is my shopping. I did some Milo. Um, I bought some Milo's. A couple more extra packs of Milo's because I couldn't buy as much as I wanted to in BM. And then we went to our flight. We technically ran to our transiting flight because the information on the counter wasn't accurate. The information on the screen didn't tell us where the gate was until the very last minute. There was only five minutes left and it was such a long distance away. So we literally ran. We thought we were going to miss our connecting flight, but thankfully we didn't. As soon as we landed in Chennai, Lakshman wanted his filter coffee. While that was his priority, my first point of action was to change Levi's nappy. I've changed his nappy in almost every restaurant and every shopping center that we've been to with Levi. I've changed his nappy at the back of our car, in our car boot multiple times. But this is the first time ever I'm changing him on the streets, on our suitcases. Because <laughs> we just didn't know when our cab was going to come. And it was another 40 to 50 minutes drive to my auntie's house. And I couldn't wait for that long leaving him in his dirty nappy. We stayed in my auntie's house in Chennai for a couple of days as soon as we landed. The night that we landed, Levi was a little bit skeptical. He was overly tired anyway, so I didn't really expect him to go to anyone at all. But the next morning, he warmed up quite easily with everyone else. He was very well um, pampered and taken care of, you know, well and truly pampered and loved. This is the first time he's meeting everyone and this is the first time everyone else is meeting him as well. He's the first grandchild and great-grandchild in my mother's side of the family in India. So naturally, everyone wanted to see him and wanted to play with him. And he was 19 months while we were traveling at this time. So he was at that age where he was able to interact so well, playing with everyone, um, you know, chatty and everything. I also wanted to mention before I forget, I've done something slightly different while editing this vlog. I wanted to keep the background audio of the video itself as opposed to removing the audio and, you know, playing over some sort of a music, which is what I normally do in every other vlogs. But while I was editing this, I noticed that it would completely remove all of the essence of the entire, you know, the emotions and the experience and everything if I were to remove the audio. So I'm keeping the audio. Let me know what you think about it. Ah, that is so cute. Look, the mummy is cleaning the bum. Gee, they like to clean like that, huh? Yuck. Mm. No, but this no, is super thing, cheap. Right? One thing I'm keep asking you. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. The last time I spoke to you in the last vlog is when we were going to Malaysia. I had lost my voice the day we landed in Malaysia and absolutely couldn't speak at all for two, three days. My voice is back now. Not a hundred percent. At least all of the words are coming out and not just air. And people understand what I'm talking. So we are in Chennai this week and this is what this week's vlog is going to be about we're in Chennai for a couple of days and then going to the village to visit my grandparents and then we're leaving we have about six days close to seven days in India and I want to take you along with it as well first stop today we landed late last night our flight got delayed um, by the time we got home it was already like half one or two in the middle of the night 
and then this morning I had to like you know kind of get used to the place uh, settle our stuff and everything and then early afternoon we left to come to a children's park this is like um, animal park animal sanctuary but it's just a children's park it's fairly quiet because it is a Tuesday no it's a Wednesday afternoon here um, we just saw a bunch of school kids leave and there's some other adults so I will show you around most likely the Cynthia vlog is going to be video montages as well but hopefully I'll be able to speak a lot more um, than the previous vlog but I hope you enjoyed this one call the peacock say peacock hello Look, oh no, the peacock doesn't have anything. No, it does pick up. These two are the ones which is pink. Whoa! Hi. This is a scary peacock. Oh, there's more. Look at the tail is trying to clip up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yay! <laughs> Show me the turtle. Yeah. Yeah, that's a turtle. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that monkey sayang the other one. <laughs> Look at them fight. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? <laughs> what does this do? I have no idea. Come this way. They're quite fast, you know. They're very fast. We've only been here for half an hour and I think we're going to call it a day already. We just can't take it. Today is surprisingly really uh, moderate weather. It's pleasant actually. Humidity is still there, but it's pleasant. It's not like it's scorching sun and I'm not sweating, which is, you know, which speaks a lot for Chennai. That's just not what I'm used to. Yeah, it was nice coming here. This is our first time here, but we couldn't help noticing how the lifestyle and the culture is so different in Chennai. I've seen the super modern part of Chennai and I've seen, um, you know, the real part of Chennai, which is what we saw here today. This is a kind of India that I knew while I was growing up. Modernization only happened in the last like 10 to 15 years in Chennai, in India especially. But it's just very, very distinct, different culture here entirely. That's right. Can you take a little piece? Uh-uh. Do you think this size is okay? Do you like this? Enjoy. Like mommy can buy this. That's smiling. Yeah. One more. You know what I'm thinking about? Actually, this size is better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In the... In the
How do you pick it up? You need to pick it up with a magnet. One more, one more, please. Uh, high up. Well done. Levi, what has Aya done for you? Look, Aya is calling you. I'll take rose plastic, please. Rose plastic. Yeah. Mango, rose, and ginger. Ginger. Okay, I need to explain this to you. While my mother and I were shopping, Lakshman took Levi and he went walking around, but Levi got hungry and tired and he was slightly unwell. So Lakshman found this restaurant and settled himself there so that he could have lunch himself and feed something to Levi too. Little did he know that this was a vegetarian restaurant, but it is buffet style and it's bottomless. So they keep refilling it as soon as you finish some dish and there was countless amount of dishes. The food was amazing and it was fairly cheap too. We walked into Hamley's because Lakshman wanted to get Levi a toy puppy apparently. When Lakshman took Levi inside earlier, he loved it. But when I went in with him, he hated it. I tried to play with it and he refused to. He just didn't um, want to have anything to do with it at all. He wasn't interested. So we just left. We didn't get it. But the Hamley's was quite impressive. They had a lot of things. I wasn't interested in looking at anything in there, so I don't know how the prices were, anything at all. Right outside Hamley's, they had the train ride, which Levi wasn't interested. We kind of forced him to because we tried to cheer him up. He wasn't feeling well. He was running a little bit of temperature, but um, nothing, a little bit of Calpol couldn't help or do anything, you know. So we gave him Calpol after the train ride and he fell asleep. Um, I was carrying around while he was resting for a bit.
We came into Phoenix Mall at about 1 in the afternoon. It's already 6 o'clock now and there's absolutely no sign of us leaving. I've never been to this mall before despite it being for a good quite number of years now. But I heard it's like, you know, a lot of modern clothes and this and that and everything. For all the time that I've ever been in India and did shopping in India, I never once imagined that I'll be buying, you know, daily use clothes, which is non-traditional clothes from India, from Chennai especially. Today, while we were walking around the Phoenix Mall, it felt as if I was walking in one of those malls in UK, or even in Malaysia, like the Just Go, the one that I went to in Malaysia last week, or, you know, Crips Causeway is the one that we always go to near our house. But when I walked into this, it had all of the UK and US brands, the usual, you know, Marks and Spencer, and um, only H&M, a couple of others I don't really remember, but all of those regular branded stuff and everything in there. And then there's a couple of local brands or so, like um, Lifestyle, Max, and something else. We saw Lifestyle, and I wanted to go in there to Lifestyle to check it out. I bought something last night from one of those other local stores near my auntie's house, and I wanted to find a blouse for it, a top for it, and I just suggested that Lifestyle will have those kind of things. So I walked in to see it, and I was pleasantly surprised. The collection was so good. I don't remember it being this good while I was studying in Bangalore. Every time I was in Bangalore, every time I go to Lifestyle, I never really wanted to buy anything there. I don't remember if it was Lifestyle or if it was Max or something like that, but I just never wanted to buy anything because it was all far too common. But this one I saw, it was really good, and the price was quite competitive also, and it was very good quality. So I ended up buying stuff for myself, I ended up buying a lot more for Levi and a lot more for Lachman. I took about two to three hours shopping for all three of us again, and my mother was tagging along. She was trying to look for something, and she was like, "How are you buying so much?" While she wasn't, she just picked out like two tops or something like that. But yeah, the damage has been done. I was going to do quite a number of shopping in India and in Malaysia. Um, I didn't expect it to blow the budget in India at all. The only kind of shopping that I wanted to do in Chennai was traditional clothes and I wanted one set for all of us. Uh, Shirwani for Lakshman and for Levi and a matching Pandavi suit or you know, Kurta top or Churita or something like that for me. I wasn't keen on doing any other shopping but I blew the budget completely. I didn't really have so much budget for shopping for myself at all. But yeah, the image has been time. The amount was so large that they couldn't put all of the transaction in one payment in my card. Um, I'm, I'm using contactless payment despite a lot of controversies about India not expecting Apple Pay and stuff. They still do, but they just don't know how to process it. So they couldn't put in the entire amount because they had some sort of internal uh, limitations which they didn't know. My card doesn't limit me from you know how much I spent, but apparently their system does. So I had to make like four payments to make up the whole thing. And we have joint bank accounts for multiple things, especially the holiday account is a joint bank account for Lakshman and I. I don't set up any notification on my phone for any transactions going in and account from my in and out from my bank account, but Lakshman does. So every time I make a transaction, Lakshman gets a text. I made four transactions, one after another, back to back, and Lakshman was super confused. He was like, What are you doing? Why are you spending so much money immediately? What's going on? <laughs> Let me see it's me.